my channel so today i want to show you how to design your retaining wall against overturning or how to do a check on the overturning effect of forces upon your retaining wall right in the previous tutorial on retaining wall i was able to show you how to check for sliding effect of forces on your retaining wall right so in case you were not able to catch up with the video i have that on my channel you can do well to look to that video and catch up with us as we go right so from the um designs we have so far we've been able to obtain certain parameters or not even parameters certain values which will be instrumental in um today's tutorial right so we just want to find or determine the factor of safety against overturning against overturning so from the previous video we obtained the value for the weight weight of wall which i told you also that um, it's called the vertical stem the vertical stem and this vertical stem the weight is um 275.5 kilonewton while the weight of the base was also obtained weight of base plates or you call it base was obtained to be 38.4 kilonewton we also obtained the weight of the soil or i think um the parameters now have been swapped the weight of the vertical stem that we obtained was 48 kilonewton from the previous video 48 kilonewton so let's just do away with this that we have 48 kilonewton the weight of the base itself was um 38.4 kilonewton while the weight of the soil the weight of the backfill material backfill the granular material which is the soil that we have was obtained to be 275.5 kilonewton so this um respectively was identified on our wall diagram to be this the weight of the wall the weight of the soil and the weight of the base right so the three of them have been calculated in the previous video you may check and see how we calculated that and um, you'll be fine now um, we also obtained in the last um, video the value for our active failure we did that already this you may also want to check and see how we did that now straight into the overturning uh, factor of safety against overturning right so to obtain the fa factor of safety against overturning you have like we had for um sliding this is obtained by dividing the sum of the restoring moment you know i said is restoring or resist resisting rather restoring or resisting moment restoring or resisting moment so the ratio of this to the sum of your overturning moment 
over turning moment. Now this ratio should give you a value greater than 2.0 to be satisfied against overturning. If not, you have to um, look to other um, means of ensuring the stability of your retaining wall against overturning effects. Right, so how do we um, determine the restoring or resisting moment and also how do we determine the overturning moment? Right, so right, let's let's go for the overturning moment first. And overturning moment is simply um, the moment produced by forces that tend to take your retaining wall out of stability. And I'll take that again. And the overturning moment is the moment produced by forces or the sum of forces that tends to take your structure out of position by a turning effect by, by a turning effect so uh while the restoring or resisting moment are the sum of forces or these forces at the moment produced as a, as a result of the forces that tends to keep your structure in a stable position so let me just i like that for us so that we can understand in simple terms so you discover that the direction of um movement or of action of our active prayer would produce a moment in the anti-clockwise direction just like this while the moment or the forces acting vertically downward will be producing a counter moment just in this direction so it's a league of balance between this moment as a result of the active prayer and that moment as a result of the vertical forces trying to hold your structure in position right so the the active prayer is trying to turn your structure away from position by turning effect of the forces while the vertical forces that tends to hold the structure down is is trying to create an effect uh, of resisting the other um, force trying to put it away from order just in the case of um, as in the case of sliding where we have the sum of our vertical forces trying to hold our structures in position and the lateral head prayer is trying to put it out of order right so going straight to this to check um, for the overturning moment let's let's find out how we're going to have our overturning moment so overturning moment and i told you this is the moment produced by forces by the actions of forces against the stability of the structure so the only force that we can identify in this retaining wall right above is um, the only force trying to take this um, retaining wall out of position due to its turning effect will be the lateral head prayer. It will be the only one going in the other direction to put your structure out of balance, which is M1. As I've rightly indicated there, so that's the only structure, um, the only force that is affecting our structure in that direction. So it tends to put our structure away. Now this is what we'll do. We'll take moment about the the toe about this position A. We are taking moment about A because our retaining wall would, if the force is successful. In overturning this if, if, if it succeeds to overturn our structure our retaining wall would be such like this the effect will be such such like this so a will shift from here down to here but that is not exactly what we that's exactly what we want to work against so the at a 
will be our position of um, consideration so we are taking moment about point a right now so that will be fa and fa is acting at the central of the triangle like i said in the previous video so you, you may want to check that and that will give us one over three which is the centroid of that triangle multiply by the value of our fa and in the previous tutorial we obtained the value of our fa which is the same thing as our p pa so in the previous year we find the pa to be 34.2 right let me erase this So our P is 34.2. Then converting that to force. I thought we did that in the in the last tutorial. To obtain our force, we have the area of the full triangle, half multiplied by the value of our active pressure. 34.2 multiplied by the height of the triangle so f was obtained to be 92.34 kilonewton you can check the previous tutorial on how this was obtained all right so we have 1 over 3 multiplied by fa let me let me include that for for understanding take 1 over 3 multiplied by fa which is 92.34 multiply by the height of influence on the wall so this automatically if rightly um, done should give us 166.212 kilonewton meter right now because that's moment so to check for the restoring moment so for the restoring moment the sum of our restoring moment now I said restoring moment that those holding trying to hold your structure into a stable position which are three of them the weight of the wall the weight of the base and the weight of the soil as we have in the diagram above All right so we have 38.4 which is the weight of the base now taking moment to a taking moment to a so we have a clear diagram i think i should erase all of these things on my on my diagram so we can use we can use all of the dimensions clearly right so we're going straight to point a and this is the weight of the base the base is in total going to be four meters 700 plus 400 plus 2.9 meters so we have four meters in total and if the weight of the base is acting at the center of the old geometry it will mean the perpendicular distance to point a from the centroid or the center of the base will be two meters right so if the weight of the base is 38.2 38.4 then the centroid will be or the perpendicular distance rather will be two meters so this two meters is just saying the total length which is four meters divided by two then we have also taking the weight of the soil now 
weight of the soil which was obtained before previously as 275.5 kN. So we want to take that that moment down to point A. Right, multiply by the perpendicular distance also. So if the distance, the width of the backfield is 2.9, it means the influence of that weight will be directly at the midpoint of 2.9. So adding the half of 2.9 plus 400 plus 700 should give us a perpendicular distance. So in total, we have 2.5. Five. If you had done that correctly, right? So this half of 2.9 gives us 1.45. Adding 1.45 to 400 gives you 1.85. Then adding 700 to 1.85 should give you 2.5, right? Right. So um, on the third one, you want to add the last force which is the weight of the wall itself, then we have that to be 48 multiplied by the width of that wall is 400, half of it will give us 200 plus 700, that's 900. We have multiplied by 0 0.9 meter. Then the summation of this, if rightly done, should give us 822.525 kilometer meter and do not forget that the sum um the moment we we're taking on both um overturning and restoring moment is about a is about a right so we took moment about a now following the formula for a factor of safety we can say that we have the restoring moment now to be 822.525 and we have our overturning moment to be 166.212 this should give us a value of 4.95 which is above 2.2 zero now our conclusion is to say that our structure is safe against overturning overturning right so i just discovered that my my spelling here was wrong. So, overturning. Pardon me. Overturning. Alright, so we have this to be safe. against overturning so if you have any questions around this or the previous video you may please use the comment section as i'll be there to answer to all your queries and to bring more light to this subject and even more all right so in case you're with us for the first time please do well to subscribe and like this video and share with your colleagues that should get better our structural engineer structural engineering and hang around for many more releases i am joshua the designer see you in the next video bye